Hello everyone, welcome to our fifth SQL video. Today we're going to talk about two more clauses that would be helpful when we query data. Group by helps us group records into summary rows and having clause applies to summarized group records. Whereas when we were talking about where in the previous video, which applies to individual records. So today we're going to introduce them one by one using examples. First, the group by clause returns one record for each group. In the example here, we show the number of employees from each country by using an aggregate function count to count the number of employee ID. Besides, we also renamed the result column as number of employee. Here we grouped by country. The group by statement is often used with aggregate functions such as count, max, mean, sum, and average to group the result set by one or more columns. It is very important to remember adding the group by, otherwise the SQL code would not return anything. Second is the having clause, which is similar to where statement that we use to filter data according to specific conditions, but having operates on grouped records returned by a group by. The where keyword cannot be used with aggregate functions. Here, by looking at the example, we added having on the previous SQL code to specify we only wanted to see the contrast if the calculation result number of employee of that country is more than 10,000 employees. Remember to use having rather than where when working with a group by statement. Here comes to the end of our SQL videos and I hope everyone learns more about how to navigate SQL to interact with the relational databases and get the data we want. Thanks for watching.